Hey YouTube, love and light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you're not an Aries and you're watching this video, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I have cleared the energy off of the space, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So, how y'all doing, Aries? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I had to take a little time off, y'all, to do a little introspection myself. I have a lot of things going on in the fire. So, thank y'all so much for being patient with me, supporting me, rocking with me. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank you. So, let's go and get into it, Aries. What y'all got going on? What's going on in the energy for Aries this week? Let's see. What's going on, Aries? Okay. Okay. So, it says the chaser. So, some of y'all could be um, dealing with a twin flame. Um, and somebody is in separate... You're in separation with a twin flame, possibly. Um, somebody could be... Um, have some abandonment issues. Um, somebody could have some codependency issues. Somebody could be in like um, lack mentality. Um, this is somebody who could live at a distance from you. Um, but I definitely see this person is watching you, looking at your pictures. Uh, this is somebody who really misses you. Or this person could be feeling left out on the cold or feeling abandoned by you. But I definitely feel like um, some feelings of nostalgia is there. Um, I feel like this person is ready to chase this connection. So, um, I feel like this person is ready to, to make some new memories with you. Hmm. It says cut down. Hmm. So the cut down camera and shock. So I feel like it was something, some type of sudden change in the connection, um, but I feel like this person is actually having some type of epiphany, um, going through some type of major transformation. So this person could have been awakened to this connection. Um, but I feel like somebody is going to get a message. This person wants to reach out and contact you. So I feel like this has been a repetitive cycle, um, uh, like an on and off cycle with you and a person. Um... So I feel like somebody needs to, uh, I feel like you basically stopped a, a pattern or, you know, got tired of going back and forth with this person. Um, I feel like some of y'all could have your person blocked, um, or giving somebody the silent treatment or vice versa. So if you're the one to cut the person off, this person is ready to chase you, or if this person your person cut you off, you could possibly be doing the chasing or having some nostalgic feelings about them. But again, the camera is here. This person is definitely reminiscing about you, um, have some very fond memories of you. Um, I feel like this person is learning from their past mistakes and seeing things from a different perspective. Mm, but I feel like somebody, it was definitely some heartbreak here. Mm, somebody is feeling lost. Um, around this connection, feeling some grief and um, sorrow about this breakup. Hmm. But I feel like some of y'all could be calling in some new romances as well. I feel like new love is on the horizon for some of you, but I definitely feel like some of y'all are going through a major transformation, ascending to a higher version of yourself and preparing yourself for a new phase in your life. Um, so I feel like some of y'all are ready to get out there and start dating again. Um, I feel like some of y'all, again, are going to call in some new love. You're going to meet some new people, um, build some better friendships. Um, I also feel like you are going to be calling in um, new fine manifesting abundance, uh, new financial opportunities, new doors are going to be opening for you. So I feel like you got a lot of uh, things coming in for you. Um but I feel like uh, right now, some of y'all are just kind of taking the time to heal from uh, a major upheaval or, or you know, uh, a separation. 
Um, or some of y'all, like I said, just going through some type of transformation. Uh, yeah, but I feel like, yeah, somebody is, I, I feel like y'all, this has got a, a lot to, some, most of y'all, this has something to do for, a, 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 has something to do with a relationship. And I feel like somebody is in a separation. I feel like it might have something to do with a third party, possibly um, another connection. Maybe somebody, someone had trouble resisting temptation. Um, so, and this could have also, for some of you, been just like a um, connection that never took off or never um, got to a commitment phase for some reason. Um, and, it, and it doesn't have to be another person. It could be just some outside interferences that kept you from connecting with this person. But I definitely feel like... Um, there's some new love coming in for you. So let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's see what's going on. So definitely somebody is somebody is watching you. <laughs> you know, maybe um, whoever this person is that um, is watching you, they are attached to someone else or codependent on someone else and cannot come towards you. Um, but I definitely feel like this is a past energy. But I feel like some, some of y'all going to get some shocking news about something. Let's see. Mm, yeah, somebody definitely wants a reunion. But I definitely feel like um, somebody is watching you out. Socializing with your friends and your family. Um, celebrating. Or uh, This person could have um, been somebody who likes to party a lot or overindulge in third parties. Maybe this person gets a lot of attention. Somebody could be out, you know, doing a lot of drinking. So somebody could be overindulging in, in um, vices to try to not think about this connection. Hmm. But definitely somebody is missing you. It's very nostalgic. This person wants to come in and, and um, reach out to you. Wants to talk. I feel like this person is has had an epiphany. I feel like this person has been awakened to this connect connection and, and wants to uh, reconcile. Uh, we have the King of Cups here. Um, but I definitely see someone coming towards you with pure intentions. Um, this is going to be, for some of you, uh, you're going to be calling in new love. Or this could be the past person that's uh, made some major changes in their life. And now ready for a more balanced connection. Maybe they're done with these um, possibly pair, player ways. So somebody could have been a player in the past. I don't see that card out here, but it is third party. Um, the three of cups also indicates third party. So it could have been somebody who was maybe, maybe non-committal in the past. Not emotionally available. But I feel like um, you have someone coming in that's a mature, grounded, balanced energy um someone who has pure intentions very diplomatic very family oriented very generous very devoted so um like i said some of y'all have new love coming in or your person has um transformed into this king of cups energy has made some adjustments in their life maybe gone through a uh, a major transformation and I feel like, you know, when this person comes in, I feel like it's going to shock you. This is going to be a surprise. I feel like some of y'all have been separated from this person for quite some time. Um, like I said, I feel like this person maybe went down a, a different path with the um, two of wands. And like I said, I feel like this person could be... Um, Somebody who lives at a distance from you. Maybe someone thought the grass was the greener on the other side. And I feel like maybe something has happened in that connection that's causing this person to walk away and see things from a different perspective. And I feel like this person has learned from their past mistake and now wants to come back towards you. So I feel like this person is definitely planning something, planning some type of reunion. So I feel like this person is, like I said, watching you. Um, 
And this person could just try to be figure out what it is you're doing, whether you're seeing someone. Um, you know, and this person, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune is just hoping that, you know, things go in their favor. Hmm. I feel like, you know, I feel like this person is hoping that, you know, fate is on their side in this situation. So, but I definitely see good luck and fortune coming towards you, Aries. Hmm. Maybe this person was getting some karma for, uh, for some of you. Uh, if it's your past person, somebody was getting some karma for something they did to you in the past. Maybe choosing someone over you. Now they're seeing the grass is not greener. Maybe they're having to cut something off or end a cycle with someone else to come towards you. But definitely, I feel like some of y'all are calling in, uh, making some transformations in your life and calling in um, new love. So the will is definitely turning in your favor. Hmm. After a major upheaval, mm, see, we got the um, page of swords. So somebody is definitely wanting to, uh, is watching. Mm. So I feel like somebody is definitely trying to figure out how to come towards you. Or even if this is somebody new, you could have some type of um, somebody crushing on you. That's wanting to come towards you and ask you out on a date. And this could be somebody that is in your friend circle. Somebody could be flirting with you. Somebody that likes you and you don't even know about. Because this one says teddy bear. Um, and it says, I'm interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, and want to date. So this is somebody new coming in. Um, yeah. So that's this is a new energy. So I feel like you're gonna have a choice in love. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna have a choice in love. So yeah, you're gonna be. I feel like you know with the two of wands here, some of y'all gonna be at a crossroads and trying to try to figure out which direction to go in because you're gonna have a choice. But I feel like you know um, before. A new love comes in, you're going to have to completely cut something else out. Or, um, like I said, somebody from your past is going to come back and they're going to have to completely cut something else out. So maybe they're at a crossroads or maybe at a fork in the road. And that's why, yeah, because they could have been holding on to something else, a third party. Um, and that could have been for that person could have been codependent. The third party could have been codependent or your person could have been codependent on someone financially. Um, but I see you held back from this person, you know, cut off a tie. Yeah, it was a major tower here. Like, we got the tower out here twice. We got the sh shot card out here. And it was some major change. Um, <clears throat> but, like I said, this person could be going through some type of ending some type of cycle with someone else. Or this person, um, you ended a cycle with this person because they were, whole, you know, holding on to something else maybe you knew or you didn't know or this person just wasn't giving you what it is you desire in the connection but i feel like this person um was very concerned about financial stability and some of y'all could be um going through some you know working on your finances so maybe you going through some major transformation with your finances at this time but I feel like, you know, the will is about to turn in your favor. So if you're struggling with some finances, you're going to have some good luck coming towards you, right? Yeah, so the high, I'm sorry, the uh, high priestess is here. So I feel like uh, for some of you with your past person, if it's just like a higher level soulmate or twin flame, um, this person kept a lot of secrets. This person was being very mysterious. And I feel like that's the reason why you walked away. So I feel like some of y'all might have found out about a, a third party. Because that was the um, first card out. And um, for y'all having some issues or like some financial struggles, some financial hardship. Um, again, the, with the Wheel of Fortune out here, your your luck is about to change. The will is about to turn in your favor. You're going to have a major shift in your life, and that's yet to be seen yet. So just, you know, use your intuition, stay grounded, stay focused. 
um, good luck is coming towards you. But I feel like, you know, for y'all uh, who had this major upheaval in your relationship, I feel like you saw this tower coming. I feel like you use your intuition. I feel like um, you had this inner knowing about something. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like this person is also keeping a secret, you know, kept some secrets about what was going on. Maybe didn't want to tell you or maybe just watching you waiting for this plan to fall in place before they come towards you. Um, but I feel like this person is definitely still holding on to your energy. So I definitely feel like there's some secrets that are going to come out. Um, you're going to get some clarity about this situation. Um... Yeah, you're going to get some news, some shocking news about this connection, about what's going on in this person's life. You're going to hear maybe this person separated from someone or this person is going to let you know or it's going to reach out to you and let you know that they want to get back with you. Let's see what's going on. Oh, so King of Wands in reverse, y'all. King of Wands in reverse. So, um, this person from your past could have been very, um, like my way of the highway type of energy, very rude, very, um, like a tyrant, very, um, in devil energy, very uh, nasty attitude. Could have been, some of y'all could have been abusive, so verbally, physically, some very impulsive, um, very overbearing, kind of like a dictator energy, very forceful. Um, so, yeah, but I, yeah, I feel like this person, yeah, very possessive, uh, very controlling energy. Hmm. Yeah, so this person, like, if you question them, this person about what was going on in their life, this person would get mad, get angry. So maybe this person had a bad temper as well. Um, yeah, and Six of Swords. And I feel like maybe that's a part of the reason why some of y'all could have walked away as well. Um, but again, for some of y'all, I feel like you're going to get somebody who's new. This person just didn't have good intentions. So I feel like the will is about to turn in your favor. A King of Cups energy is coming towards you. Um, the universe is urging you to, to move away from this energy, move to calmer waters. Hmm. So some of y'all could be um, connecting to a twin flame if you haven't already met your twin flame. But I feel like... <clears throat> This, if this was your twin flame that acted like this, maybe this person was the catalyst of you, your growth. Maybe y'all met for you to uh, learn your self worth and cut this person off and go through this major transformation to stop this pattern. Because I feel like this was an unhealthy pattern. Um, so for some of you, this was faded to happen this way for you to move forward and grow to ascend to a higher version of yourself um, because this person wasn't giving you what it is you deserved or what it is you desired. This person could have, like I said, always been partying, hanging out, um, drinking a lot. You know, maybe this person had a lot of toxic behavior, so maybe this was a karmic connection. And it causes major upheaval here. But like I said, I see you calling in. Yeah, then this, like I said, was somebody from your past. Because we have the um, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Yeah. And this person was very foolish, very careless. Um, that lack, lack commitment because they was always juggling. And creating illusions. So we got the the Six of Cups, the Fool card, the Two of Pentacles, and 
the seven of cups. So yeah, this person was creating illusions, creating a lot of confusion, um, juggling, you know, couldn't make a decision between you and whatever this lifestyle they was living, you know, very careless, uh, lack commitment. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. So I feel like you cut this person out because it kept creating stress and anxiety in your life. You stood in your power and your Empress energy. You know, now this person is watching you because you made this major transformation. And maybe this person felt like you wasn't going to um, let them go. But I feel like, you know, you stood up for yourself. You know, now you calling in, you manifesting what it is you want. You're about to receive justice. And this connection could possibly lead to a marriage for you, you know. And I feel like this person basically backstabbed you. They wasn't giving you equal give and take in the connection. So um, you had to let it go. You had to make a healthy choice for yourself. Yeah, let's see what else. So, yeah, Spirit is urging you to walk away from this situation if you have not already. Because once you walk away from this, you got good luck. The will is turning in your favor. You have to end something for you to have new beginnings. And the by you cutting that off, it's going to allow you to usher in this King of Cups energy. Something that has pure intention. So, you know, I feel like some of y'all are in this Four of Pentacles energy holding back from someone. You know, it's not. Look, Empress done fell on out. Come on through, Empress. I know that's right. You're in this Empress energy. You know, nurturing yourself, loving on yourself, focus on self-care and self-love. You know, tapping into your creativity, standing in your feminine energy, you know, um, planting good seeds, waiting for your harvest to come in, you know, doing the work, um, nurturing yourself, you know, birthing new ideas. Some of y'all are going to be, um, you know, like I said, if you're having some financial struggles, um, that's going to come, come towards an end. Some of y'all are walking away from jobs where y'all got, um, uh, tyrant bosses, you know, nasty bosses, you know, like negative, toxic environments. The universe is urging you to walk away so they can, uh, bring in, they working behind the scenes to bring in new opportunities for you for work as well, you know? So some of y'all might need to just, you know, uh, save your money, hold on to your money, you know, because the universe is, you know, making that wheel turn. Some of y'all been through a lot of major ups and downs here. Um, but change is coming. You're going to be celebrating yourself. You're going to be able to, um, you're going to be very successful. You're going to be manifesting what it is you desire. And these upheavals had to happen into your life for, um, for your abundance, your blessings to come in. Because this card says, good luck, destiny, change, karma, soulmates, decisive moments, cycles of life, fate, fortune, upheaval, chance. So, uh, some of y'all need to uh, be patient, you know, because you're going to be making some new memories. You know, resist overspending if you need to, you know, if you're having some financial dis um, hardships, resist overspending, but... Yeah, the moon. Um, some of y'all, like, they need to leave these time or bosses or places of employment that's not giving you emotional fulfillment, bully, leaders, dictatorships, things like that. Universe is urging you to walk away. Don't be afraid to step into the unknown. The moon. You know, your dreams are going to come true. Um, I feel like some of y'all need to release that fear and tap into your creativity, stand in your power, stand up for yourself. You know, I feel like you're going to have some options in love and in, um, career. This card say? It says, um, the path may not be clear, but my intuition lights the way one step at a time. So yeah, use your intuition in these situations because your inner voice is telling you, um, for some of you to walk away from these situations and it says connected to the earth, um, reminds me that abundance is unlimited. Yeah. So your possibilities are, um, unlimited. Just, you know, stand in your power, stand in your truth. 
You know, uh, life can be unpredictable, but the wheel is always turning, and it's about to turn in your favor. So let's see what else. Get a couple more cards. Yeah, things yet to be seen are going to be revealed. So, you know, just trust your intuition. Listen to your inner voice. Um, try to maintain emotional stability during this time. And, you know, this is also about you having to make some choices. So some of y'all, like I said, are at a stalemate with a twin flame or a higher level soulmate. Um, but it's time for you to make some difficult and painful decisions um, for you to be able to call in this uh, will of fortune energy. Right. So I feel like um, some of y'all, like I said, are going to have a choice as far as in love. Um, but. Don't blind yourself to the truth. Like this two of wands here is about making decisions. You had a fork in the road. Uh, don't let anybody else blind you to the truth. You know, so like I said, somebody from your past could be coming back creating illusions. Um, yeah. Slow. Your your success may be slow coming in or something new may be slow coming in. Or your past person could have been slow making you an offer because they was with someone else. But... Keep working hard for y'all that's having these financial issues or financial hardships. Just keep putting in the work because we got the um, Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, as long as you put in the hard work, it's going to come. It might be slow coming, but it's show sure coming. And also, uh, make sure you're standing up for yourself, standing your truth, you know. Protecting yourself. We got the seven of um, wands here. So when this person come in for your past person, for some of you, uh, make sure you are standing up for yourself. Because I feel like this person is going to try to feed you anything they can to get back with you. But make sure that you are being true to yourself, not blinding yourself to the truth. You're going to have to make some tough decisions. Like I said, some of y'all going to have to cut some people off. Um, to bring in this, you know, King of Cups energy, and that's gonna be a stable offer. But you're gonna uh, somebody's coming in and ask for your for, uh, for your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So um, make sure you're using your intuition because we got the Moon out here and the High Priest. Somebody is keeping some secrets, and um, I feel like something's gonna be revealed to you about that. So, if this past person comes in, make sure you are using your intuition. Make sure you're standing in your power. Make sure you are being truthful and uh, true to yourself. If this, um, you know, uh, some of y'all going to go back, some of y'all are not. But the universe is urging you to move away in the Six of Swords. Also, y'all got a stable offer coming in. Y'all just have to be patient. It might be slow coming in. Like I said, for your for y'all with the finances, um, you know, we got the three of three of wands here. You know, some of y'all could be moving. Some of y'all could be traveling for a new job. Um, um, just you know, be patient. Your ships are gonna come in. Your hard work is going to pay off. Three of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. You are going to be victorious. You just have to have the willpower. We got the chariot here as well. Hmm. You're going to overcome a lot of obstacles and be very successful. But you have to um, have self-control and self-discipline and stay focused. Mm -hmm. We got also um, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So your wishes are going to come true. Okay. And Spirit say that's the truth. Okay, come on, Spirit. Ace of Swords. Yeah. So, the, the, the advice here is to really just stay focused. Walk away from things that's no longer serving you. Um, some of y'all going to need to surrender some things for you to bring in and attract and, and manifest what it is you desire. Oh, let's see. Oh, stay optimistic. Look. One more card. Then we'll move on. Oh, that one it was. Okay, I got two. Oh, 
Okay, it says, I am optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life. Experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive, right? I said that a major shift is about to happen. So stay optimistic and be open to the change. It says, I am limitless. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side and you are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Yeah, so... um. You're going through this major transformation. Um, you're being uh, urged to just stay grounded um, so you can call in your abundance, whether that's spiritual abundance, that will be spiritual abundance as well as uh, material abundance because we have um, a few um, pinnacle cards out here um, about being patient and, and doing the hard work. So, your, your luck is going to change because we had the Wheel of Fortune out here as well. So, some of y'all could have, um, be dealing with, like, uh, we got the water signs out here. Uh, Cancer, uh, Pisces, can um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, then we got the Wheel of Fortune out here. Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Um, we got, uh, the Tower out here. Uh, and that's you. Aries, that's your energy. Um, we have the high priestess out here. Uh, that's cancer energy. We got uh, water out here heavy. Um, we have um, the swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could have any of those energies, but definitely, like I said, you're um, could have some earth here as well. Oh, we got some fire here. Not heavy on the fire, but but I feel like that's y'all's energy anyway. And it says, I'm independent, 17. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. So, yeah, it's time for you to just stay focused, be efficient, put in the hard work, and you are going to attract what it is you desire. Or you're going to bring in, uh, you're going to call in this uh, Wheel of Fortune energy. And it says, I'm expressive, 27. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, county, or, or your community, country, or the world at large. I'm expressive. So make sure you stand in your truth, be your true authentic self, and express yourself, stand up for your beliefs. And you're going to attract all kinds of walk, uh, people from all walks of life. Make sure you're using your intuition when you're dealing with people. Um, and like I said, being um, true to yourself. Because you got a lot of people watching you. And you, as you go through this transformation, you're probably going to draw in a lot of people from different walks of life. So you need to be conscious of the type of energies you're allowing in your space. And it says, I'm courageous. It is time to get um, to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. Um, you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. Yeah, so standing in that Empress energy, unleashing your true power, going through these major changes. 99 on the card as well. Cutting off things that's no longer serving you um, and um, allowing new things to come in. So we got 555 five, five on one card, 0 on one card. 17 on one card, 27 on another card, and um, 99 on one. So 27 reduced to 9, 999 endings, bring new beginnings. And then um, 555 five, five changes imminent. So you got to make these changes, you know, um, for you to embrace these new beginnings. And then we got 8, you got 17 card reduced to 8, 8. You know, your possibilities are limitless, infinite possibilities. Um, be ready to receive the rewards um, the universe has for you. So this is what I have for you, Aries. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to the next video. Love and light.